What's up, gamers? It's me, Simply Hydrated. Okay, that was really crazy. So, here's a tutorial on how I make my thumbnails. Yeah, that's it. So, first, open Roblox Studio and choose a base plate. Then, you'll need these plugins up on screen. They're all links in the description, by the way. Okay, I cannot English. Click plugins and click on the load character plugin thing. Type in any username, but for this, I'll be using my sisters. Um, ugly, goofy, silly. Uh, after that, spawn your character in as R15. Make sure to do that. Then open Moon Animator. Click Files, New, and name it anything you want. Now click this plus button and select your character, um, which is that for me. Now you can move and pose your character how you want it. After you're done with your character, go to the Explorer, which you can find in the View tab, and click Export Selection. Save and name it anything you want. You should do what that said. Now open up Blender. Make sure it's Blender 2.8. I will leave a tutorial how to download it in the description, cause I'm too lazy. You'll see this when it's open. Click off to remove the weird image thing, and then delete the cube by pressing X and clicking Delete. Then go to File import wavefront obj and then find where your character is make sure it's dot obj at the end of it or else it won't work now to move it i'll leave another tutorial in the description because um i'm also lazy click on the circle thing and then delete the light if the textures don't appear i have no idea how to fix it so maybe searching it up will help Click this add ambient occlusion thing. This adds a cool shadow thing to your render. Put distance to 5 in the third thingy. I don't, um, I don't even know if it did anything. Now find an HDIRS on this website. And this is how you add lighting. All you gotta do is select one you like and download it. Then click on this thingy. Go to color. Click on the dot. And then click on environment texture. Fire! Click open and select your HDRS. Then it'll give you this lighting and a background. To remove the background, go to this TV thing, whatever. Click film, then click transparent. You can change the strength if you want, but I want mine to be three. Now click on this printer looking thing and set the resolution to 3840 x 2160. And that's how you make it HD. So to open your camera, click on view and cameras and click active camera and you can use your walk thingy to move and put it wherever you want the camera to be at. Then click render and render image. After that, just click on image and save as. You can save it anywhere you want. Choose your agent. Finally, the last step. For this, I will be using Photoshop, but you can use Photopea, which is literally f a free version of it. I cannot speak. And it's exactly the same thing, and it's also simple to use. So first click Create New. Go to this section thing and click on the one that says 1920x1080. Then create. Drag your render into what you're using, and I will have a tutorial on the basics so you can learn it easier. And because I'm also lazy. Now you can brighten up the image. So you can go to adjustments and go to brightness and contrast. You can change how it looks. After that, I usually add saturation, but don't add too much or else it will look like this. So I add a light gray background so it's easier for you guys to see. So click on your render in the layers and double click on it. This thing should pop up and what I do is add inner glow first. Set blend mode to overlay opacity at 75 to 80 and change the size to anything you want if you want this highlight thing mini bloxia and fulton has click inner shadow set choke to 100 size to zero and distance to about 8 or 10 then add a black stroke and you should have it anyways back to my thumbnail style i sometimes add a small white stroke around the render and i also sometimes use outer glow or drop shadow but for now, I'll be using outer glow and stroke. Now, I'm finding a fire background because my sister is a demon. Um, you know. <laughs> right now, I'm scaling it up so it fits the screen. Make sure to put the background under your render. And boom! So, I changed the hue of the background. Added this radial zoom blurred thing and brightened it up. 
I also changed the render by removing its outline and changing the outer glow color to red. You can always do changes like what I did to the background and like other stuff I guess. Instead of the fire one, I decided to go with space. I changed the hue and blurred it with Gaussian blur. Now to add text, press T on your keyboard and click anywhere on the image thingy. Then type anything you want on the thumbnail. Scale up the text and change it into a bold font so it stands out. For this, I'll be using monster. Then double click on your text layer, add a drop shadow, and you can see what setting looks the best. For this, I want my text to look kind of 3D, so I made the shadow like that. Then I add a gradient. You can make it any color, but I'm doing gray and white. After that, press inner glow and make it so you can see it, but make sure not to add too much because it'll look really bad. So I decided to bring back the fire background thing and change the blend mode to screen, and now it looks like this. Now it's finished. To export, click file, export, and export as. Change the format to JPG, set quality to excellent, and save it. If you don't have that option where it says JPG, whatever, excellent and stuff, I don't know. Just save it as PNG. Well, this is it for my thumbnail tutorial, and it ended up like this. I think it's pretty good in my opinion. I hope this video helped, and this is probably the last time I'm making a thumbnail tutorial, unless my style changes, but well, that's it.